Hey my shining stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our September Fall Lux BoxyCharm box. So if you guys want to see what's in the Fall Lux box as well as a makeup tutorial and a little review on the products, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and hit the bell below so you don't miss out on future videos. Show your support, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with friends. And don't forget to comment at the end of this video and let me know if you guys like the look that we'll be creating today, as well as if you guys have tried any of the products that we'll be mentioning today. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give a hell, paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night Starting off this video, I do want to say that I am not a certified or licensed esthetician or anything like that. I'm self-taught in every way, but I continue to educate myself every day so I can educate you guys and we all get to learn together. This video is sponsored. It is not being paid in any way. BoxyCharm sent over their Fall Lux box to share and review for you guys. With that being said, reviews and opinions are always 100% honest and authentically me because it's something I value very much over here on this channel. Timestamps will be below as well as any other disclaimers or foreclosures you guys want to know. Also, if you guys are interested in purchasing a BoxyCharm subscription, then use my referral link below. With this link, I am an affiliate, so that means I will earn a percentage, but with no additional cost to you. This is just to help me out as a creator, help out my channels, and buy more products to review for you guys. All the products in this box will also be linked down below in case you want to purchase them individually. Now let's get into our Fall Lux box. In case you guys missed it, we did unbox our BoxyCharm base box for September last week. So check out that video. It will be linked up here as a card. This month's theme was Strut Your Runway and there was lots of goodies packed in that box. So just make sure you check it out. The Lux box is a quarterly subscription. It is a add-on to your base box. You cannot get it with the premium. It comes with eight full-size products and it's a $32 add-on on top of the $27.99 for the base box. Also do note there are taxes when you are getting these subscriptions and BoxyCharm has recently added a shipping and handling fee for I believe it was around $2. So just keep that in mind when purchasing your subscription. So now this is our fall box. Of course, everything almost went tumbling out. We get our pamphlet. As always, you get these in the base, premium, and luxe, whichever one. And the pamphlet just tells you more about the theme, if there is a theme for the month, as well as on the back, it tells you more about what products you're getting, how much they are, where you can find them on Instagram, and just a little bit more about them. Getting into our box, the first product we have is the Pat McGrath Labs Idols Eyeshadow. This is how it looks. I will be opening it for you guys. And this is in the shade Rose Venus. So I have my scissors. Let's open this bad baby up. This is my first Pat McGrath Labs product. So I'm excited, but we're probably not gonna be using this today because we do have another eye product that I will be using. I definitely do wanna use. Um, of course, I gotta look so luxury. We have our little uh, tassel bead things in there. I don't know what to call them, but very cute. And the packaging is pretty slim, so really cool for on the go, on the inside. That's a very pretty color. It looks like it has some gold reflex. Look at that. That is a stunning color. I would definitely use that as like a lid shade or the inner corner, most likely a lid shade. I usually tend to go with like white or very light, light, light shimmers on the inner corner, but that's a beautiful color. It's very silky and buttery and creamy and everything you need in an eyeshadow. I can't wait to use this. So definitely stay tuned if you do wanna see this in use on Instagram at Midnight Moon Makeup because I do tons more short tutorials and stuff like that over there. Again, this is the Pat McGrath Labs Eye Dolls Eyeshadow. This is actually a new brand to Boxy, which I'm excited for because like I said, I've never tried Pat McGrath Labs. I've heard her shadows are extremely amazing, extremely pigmented, as you guys can see, and they're just gorgeous, and I totally agree. It says the cult classic creme de la creme of mother's iconic shadows now starring solo and seductive singles in a tantalizing array of textures and hues. This retails for $25. Now we're getting into the next product in the box and I already know what it is. Not only because it says it on the pamphlet, but because we have gotten 
her brand before and they were always packed in a box like this i guess just to make sure that it comes completely 100 percent not broken up so this is the natasha Denoa zendo palette i'm actually super excited for this i checked it out when i was doing my unboxing for the reels on instagram and the color palette the color story is absolutely amazing you guys gotta see it it's beautifully packaged it even comes in like this paper thing this is what the outer packaging looks like and with fall coming up, I feel like this is a whole vibe. And I did uh, already unbox this for an unboxing. I didn't swatch it or anything yet. So you will see my grubby little fingerprints all over the front, which I'm trying to wipe off now. It's like this chrome kind of metallic casing and it does feel quite heavy duty. Um, we did get her in a previous boxy charm in a base box. We got the Cupid eyeshadow and the packaging is pretty much always like this. That's the only other time I've gotten her, but the packaging was really sturdy and kind of heavy like this, which I personally don't mind because you just know if this thing falls, I mean, at least I would hope it's not gonna break. Your back casing, which is more matte. And I believe these little holes are if you wanna like rearrange or take them out when they're finished, um, you can poke something in it and it pops out the shadows, I believe. Just look at that. Tell me that isn't the most gorgeous palette. I love these greens right here. These these over here are like very full light colors. So I'm obsessed. I'm definitely obsessed. And I love that there's a couple of blues. You got a little bit of everything in this palette. So really cool color story. And I like I said, I've tried her palettes before. And so far from when I got, they're very pigmented, very blendable, and I just love them. So I can't wait to use this. We're gonna get into a little tutorial, but first, just to tell you a little bit more about this. This is, again, the Natasha Denoa Zendo Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for $69, and it says, a warm and cool tone palette inspired by an ambience where nature meets minimalistic architecture. A mix of elements that conveys peacefulness and tranquility. It features 15 iconic and pressed pigment eyeshadows, including a range of brown and beige to pink and coral shades complemented with teal, mint, and green hues. A perfect balance and color combination to create warm and cool every day to bold and expressive looks. Absolutely love it. Like I said, I do think you can create a lot of stuff out of this palette. So let's just jump on into it and test this baby out. So really quickly off camera, I set my base for my eyes. I used the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Concealer in shade 845 Warm Beige. Going in with the Eloise Beauty. I'm not sure which brush this is, but it's kind of like a packer kind of packer shader blending brush. The first shade I am gonna take is this right here, which is called Mantra. We're gonna use that to start off our crease with. So that's how we're looking. I did use the brush to also blend a little bit upwards just to make it a little more seamless for when we put down the second color. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera and get into the next shade. Getting into the next shade, we're gonna take this shade Breath, this lighter kind of almost mint green right here. And we're gonna use that to blend out the top of the mantra shade we just did, as well as add some lighter shade right in here. We're gonna use the same brush for that so that way we still have that green pigment on there too. Going back into Mantra, this deep green shade, I'm just gonna use that to blend everything out a little bit more so that way the lighter green isn't just overpowering anything. Next shade I'm gonna take is Relief, this pink one right here. I'm taking a new brush, still using the Eloise Beauty eyeshadow brushes. I'm taking a more dense packer brush. And we're going to use this on just the inner part of our lid. You'll see as we go. Now we're going to take the shade Breathe, which was that minty kind of green. We're going to use that to blend out the pink, not fully, of course. You're going to see as we're going. And we're only going to go halfway to the lid because we're going to add two more colors jump into the shade flow we are jumping into the rest of the look with shimmers this shade right here the lighter blue 
and that's gonna be our next color again we're not gonna go all the way out we're gonna just do a line like we did for the breath shade last shade we're taking for the rest of this part of the eye look is equilibrium which is the darker blue right here going back in with the first brush i used i'm gonna just blend all the top out and make the crease a little bit deeper using the shade mantra which is our transition shade taking the same brush I'm just gonna blend out the pink and the mint green a little bit more. For the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna take the shade Tranquil, which is this pink shimmer right here. I'm just taking it literally like a millimeter under my, pretty much where the waterline is and that'll help brighten and open everything up, especially if you have brown eyes like me. I do wanna smoke this out just a little bit, so I'm gonna go into the second brush I used, which was the more dense packer brush, and I'm gonna go into that shade Mantra. We're gonna use that to deepen the outer underline, and then we're gonna use the shade Breath, which is that lighter minty green, to do the rest of the work. I'm going to go ahead off camera and do a few things like liner, lashes, anything else I'll mention when we come back. So this is how the look is coming together. We have two more products in this box that we can use, um, which are both lip products. So we're going to get into that, but we're pretty much finished with the face. Had a little trouble trying to stick on these eyelashes because one side was not trying to stick on, but we got it. We got it. So just to let you guys know what products I used. For setting spray, I used the Maybelline Lasting Fix. For lashes and glue, I used the Chisel Beauty. I believe this is the Gold Edition. She has two editions. She has the Gold and then the regular. The Gold Edition Margarita Lashes. Glue, we used the IMV Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive. For eyeliner, we used the Ruby Kisses Color Liner in black. These are newly launched, so check them out. I believe they're like $4, so not bad. And then we also use the Ruby Kisses Lengthening Mascara. This is the waterproof one. Highlight. I did do blush before I even started this video. So just to let you guys know what blush I use, I use the Serafine Botanicals Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette. I use this first shade right here. I did write the names on the back. I forgot what the names were though because they scratched off. But uh, I believe this... Uh, I used this first shade, which I believe is brown butter. And then for highlighter, we used the K Voss Heyi Lighter Luminous Highlighter Palette. We used the first two shades right here. And those are the shades Sugar and Spice. If you guys do want to know more product details like foundation and bronzer and anything else, I will be posting the pictures on Instagram. So stay tuned there for a full product detail list. Guys, this palette... I'm obsessed. I always love palettes. I say this in every video. Like, I don't think I've ever really gotten a palette that I didn't love. But for real, for real, this was the creamiest, and I mean creamiest, palette that I have ever used. Like, it literally did not feel like powder on my eyes, but it blended so beautifully. And it didn't leave, like, uh, because I do have slightly hooded eyes it didn't leave any creasing colors are beautiful look at this look look just just look at it just look at it they're so vibrant so blendable so buttery so creamy again i literally i'm just so surprised in how creamy this palette is i've had a natasha denoa palette uh, but i guess the formulation is a little different and the one that i have is the cupid eyeshadow palette and that one's like it does feel more uh what do you call it powdery but not in a bad way like it blends beautifully regardless but this one oh my gosh guys i'm obsessed i can't wait to create some fall looks with these some of these browns and reds like i'm just super excited amazing i see why this bad boy is 69 dollars is honestly worth it now we're gonna get into our next two makeup products our last two makeup products 
Uh, the first one we're gonna go into is this baby. And this is the Queen Studio Partners in Crime Lip Liner Duo in the shades Spray Tan and SOS. So I believe it's a red and a brown. Um, we have gotten her in BoxyCharm before. I got her brow gel, which is absolutely amazing. Really lightweight brow gel. I'll have that video linked up here. It might have been my last BoxyCharm box. Um, I don't remember for sure, but I will definitely have it linked up here as a card. So again, this is the Queen Studio Partners in Crime Lip Liner Duo. It retails for $18. And it says, indulge your inner bad bitch. The rich buttery formula of this lip liner duo delivers a high pigment payoff that seals in moisture for comfortable, long lasting wear. She actually is wearing the two colors, I believe, on the front of the box. So just to show you guys, and these are the pencils very simple packaging all black uh, some of it has some like glossiness to it and then the rest is matte spray tan sos very beautiful highly pigmented super creamy but not overly creamy where it's gonna feel like it's moving everywhere i do think i'm gonna go in with the sos color which is the red i'm not gonna go too harsh i am gonna outline the, the outside of the lip and then i'm gonna try to like blend it in so it's not too pigmented but it's still there this is how the lip liner is looking it feels very nice on the lip Again, it feels like a formula that isn't too creamy that it's gonna move. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of blend the color in. We're gonna leave the outside a little more pigmented. So now let's step into this last makeup product for this look and then we'll get into the rest of this box. This is the Make Serum Balm. So that's really cool. It's in the shade Pink Cerise. So I think, I guess this is like a hybrid product. It's supposed to be like a lip balm and a serum all in one. So it helps treat and hydrate um, as well as just give that moisture to the lips. This probably is a product that's better suited off to be worn alone. That is why I just added some liner, but we'll see how this works uh, with some liner. Again, this is the Make Serum Balm Hydrating Lip Treatment. It's a new brand to Boxy and it retails for $26. It says the serum lip product provides instant hydration while softening, smoothing, and plumping. Formulated with a natural lip volumizing ingredient derived from bio biomolecules extracted from pomegranate flowers along with liquefied jojoba wax, this lip conditioning treatment adds luxurious, long-lasting shine and cushion. I love the actual casing. It's so pretty. And at first I wasn't sure what this was. I thought it was supposed to be like a blush. The way it's packaged, it looked like it's supposed to be one of those like dot blushes where you like dot it on the cheeks, uh, but it's not. And again, really cute color. It's in pink cerise. Uh, this is how the wand looks. Very kind of chubby, fat wand. So that's how it looks. It did add a little bit of shine. This is kind of hard to close because it pushes back up on you, the, the wand when you're pushing it in. Um, but besides that, this is how it looks. Um, I really do like it. It's a very pretty shade. Of course, you guys can't see it over the lip liner, but um, I love the shine it gives. And it does look very like nourishing. Like it feels nourishing on my lips, even with the liner. Mm. What do y'all think? So that was the last product to finish off this look and now we're going to get into the rest of this box. We have a couple more products. We have four products left in the box. So the next one we're going to get into is this and this is the Beauty Bio Bright Eyes Depuffing and Brightening Eye Gels with Restorative Colloidal Silver. It's a box of eight pairs. Uh, this is how it looks like up close. It's a new brand to Boxy and it retails for $28. And it says it's a stay in place cooling eye gel that helps depuff, brighten, and fill in the appearance of fine lines to rescue the delicate under eye skin from the effects of stress, sleepless nights, and red eye flights. Um, I love the rhyming in that. I do not suffer from wrinkles. Now I personally do not have wrinkles. I do have a really good skincare routine. So maybe that's why I am going to be 26 this uh, year. I was going to say month, this year in December. 
uh, but honestly we really don't start aging until we hit around 25 that's when you want to start using collagen and all that good stuff retinol um, retinol should not be used when pregnant so please don't go and start doing retinol if you're pregnant uh, but I will be back on my retinol uh, once I give birth uh, once I find out it's safe to use so just note that I do not have wrinkles I do love under eye patches though they are a good way to hydrate that area if you do have dryness or if you just want to reduce the puffiness bring in moisture or even just help reduce any signs of aging that you might get down the line so this is what the packaging looks like up close they're in individual packets so I'll test them out and we'll see how we like them the next product we have is by Ren Skincare. So this is the Ren Clean Skincare Ever Calm Redness Relief Serum. This retails for $60. Nature's Stand Against Sensitivity. This fast-acting white mushroom powered serum is clinically proven to reduce redness just after 30 minutes while soothing signs of sensitivity in seven days, including dryness, itching, discomfort, flakiness, tightness, or burning sensations. This new velvet touch serum is proven to strengthen skin's moisture barrier and help protect from pollution. Definitely a serum I would use. Um, I don't deal with like too much dryness or flakiness. Um, I am not really sensitive skinned. I am sensitive skin when it comes to acne and blemishes. And I do have combo to oily skin. So I do like a hydrating product, especially now it's going into fall and winter and we should be switching up our routines. But as an acne prone slash blemish prone uh, skin babe, I definitely do get the redness and the inflammation. So I would like to see how this works on that. I'm not gonna pump it out yet because it's gonna start the shelf life and we don't want that right now. I have a lot of skincare in use, so yeah. The next product we're gonna get into is, I, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, the Ole Henriksen, Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This retails for $34 and it says this lightweight gel moisturizer packed with three forms of vitamin C and rows of winter extract instantly brightens and delivers 24 hour hydration. Um, I do have a few vitamin C creams I do want to use before I start this one. So I won't be using this one right away. But again, I will have updates as we go along. But this is how the packaging looks. It's a very pretty like frosted glass bottle. Last product we have in this box is the Spongeo Honey Blossom Soap Buffer. It retails for $18. And it says the beloved honey blossom fragrance adorned in a charming gift box marries warm honey with blooming lavender for a heavenly bathing experience the iconic fluffy bath sponge and body polishing exfoliator coalesce with our silky honey for a signature favor among sponge gel enthusiasts i've actually never heard of this brand um i am excited to try it though because i've heard so much about like uh infused body wash buffer things and this one smells amazing so this is how it looks dermatologist tested it's made to cleanse exfoliate hydrate and massage and then look at this cute little flower design the soap is inside of it so if you guys can see like the body wash right there i cannot wait to use this i really can't guys 